to get it how we love So hey now, hey now The children are awake now Pipe down Wow Hi. So Ooh, I finally yeah. had to grab you and say, come on, let's let's heal some people mm -hmm. and let's talk. Let's connect. So here we are. Um, I brought you along. Yeah. You know what? First of all, thank you for being connected to me mm -hmm. and, and being patient enough. And I don't even know if patience is really the right word open enough to accept me as I am, even when I was struggling to accept myself, even when I still struggle to accept myself now. Um, you know, I watch and feel you all the time, even together. I think we both still experience that and we still I think uh, we both feel the same way because I feel like you do those things for me too. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, I don't know if you can thank me for being connected to you. I don't think it was my choice. No, no, we don't. We don't get a choice. <laughs> you don't. You don't. You don't get a choice. Uh, well, here's the choice. The choice is yeah, you I accept. Could've, I could have not taken the choice. The, the struggle, the Neither, both of us would did. you say the struggle, though, was acceptance? Accepting a connection that you told yourself you couldn't have? The struggle was receiving the connection. Or accepting the connection where it was, or how it was, and what receiving it was like? Receiving the connection and everything that went along with it. Can you explain receiving? Um, allowing it to happen in me. Um allowing those feelings to birth to come alive allowing someone else to be that deeply connected to me you kept people out of your death oh for sure always nobody's ever been this connected to me ever mm. oh no not no. even your mom dad no 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 absolutely not but we had to heal a lot of things for you to allow that and there are still times when i don't <laughs> well, you try. <laughs> you know I mean? I mean, I'll give you the still, don't. There's still times when I when I struggle with uh, when I struggle with that, you mm -hmm. know, the um, acceptance or the receiving of yeah. anything, yeah. you know, um, and it's 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 easier. It's easier. Um, when you have already accepted it mm. so yeah. so accepting and receiving i think are two different things i, I can well, accept I, any, I, I can feel, accept the fact that <laughs> i a lot of things are happening you know what i mean yeah. sometimes i just don't receive it yeah like, <laughs> i um isn't that what faith is about <laughs> yeah <laughs> is um what are some definitions of that um it's kind of like what we what I said to you last night, and you looked at me. False something. Well, when I was telling you, I, fear. I expect, I and then you said, you expect, and then it was like, I, when I went on and all about all the things that I expect, I expect you to get better. I expect you to get a liver. I expect you to be with me and complete what we came here to heal. Mm -hmm. I expect you to be here to help me heal and connect others. I expect, I expect, I expect, and then I went. And on the other end of it, you always have that expectation of what it's going to be. <laughs> no, I expect you to get better. I expect... There's so many things that we face being connected. And a lot of the times, I would say 75% of even the people who are connected in this space could walk away from the connection in this type of space. Yeah. And they do. <laughs> they do. 
I can't handle it. It's too much. Too much is going on around us. So what happens is when things go on around us, instead of cocooning ourselves um, into one another and being in that and letting everything around us be around us, mm. um, we don't do that enough. Mm. We... Um, we allow the outside world too often to come in and try to try to penetrate the connection and it's easily done it's easily done i mean with the stress and the pressure that we have been under the past god year yeah. year and a half Mm -hmm. it's been so heavy and overwhelming there's and nobody I'd rather go through it through though if it weren't for, right. if it weren't for you it wouldn't have been so light right. you know yeah. you, you even with what you're going through you still I, I'm here for your fight I feel your fight I know your fight but you still come through <laughs> and I know half the time you're struggling to even be in that. And, uh, yeah. you know, it, it's like, you know, I remember when you first got your diagnosis and you started getting all those because you were explaining to people what you were going through and you were sharing it daily. And, and people said oh, they were unfollowing you God. and then they were like, we don't want to hear about, you it's, know, you used to be this. Your whole Facebook you know, is about and your it was It wasn't just friends, it was family your, and it was everybody. And about your, and it was oh like, no, it was more family. And yeah. we're going to talk a little bit about a lot of the things that we're currently going through because we're just going to, because it's easier because we have support in you. Mm. And I say that because we mean that. And so many people have said, hey, we're here for you. And it's struggling for us <laughs> to receive, to receive. <laughs> So we are telling we you We suck now at that. We, we do. That we, we are do. receiving and we are asking you for this. And this is just um, letting us cry to you. Mm. And just holding us. And letting <sighs> us know that it's going to be okay. And that's all we need. And um, it's uh, it's hard when he when he speaks of those things and social media and social media is an amazing platform and it's where we're all at probably right now. In this you're watching second, this. You're, you're watching, watching it on this. social media. You're watching it on social media. Mm. Um, that's where it's at. There are people I haven't seen since high school. There are people I haven't seen since childhood that we never would have reconnected would it had not been for these platforms. Right. Um, family members that are out of state. Um, the technology is making it to where we went through this pandemic and we were able to at least see each other and talk mm. through social media and our phones and we weren't really locked away from each other because we could still see each other and talk. Back in the 80s and late 70s, we would have... <laughs> I don't know what would have happened. It would have been ugly, I promise you that. That feels like 25 years ago. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, <laughs> but um, I do keep, and I really try to keep. And sometimes it's a struggle, and sometimes it's really easy the best, most positive attitude I possibly can for somebody that they keep telling is going to die. Hmm. And they keep telling me that. And they keep saying it over and over and not just in one way, in 50 different ways. They're telling me that my life is coming to an end. And okay, I'm on social media. And I'm really trying to keep it positive. So, man, did it get Why do you keep getting banned? <laughs> well, that's somebody else's fault. We'll talk about her You earlier. can't blame her. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, but uh, I did when I was first diagnosed. I wanted everybody man. to be informed. I wanted to let my family know what was going on with me. And... Um, 
what I've received back. And I'm not even talking about friends. Mm. I'm talking about immediate family. Not immediate family, obviously, but mm. very close family. We created a blended family we that's have. supportive. It's beautiful. But, but um, so much negativity and so much meanness and hatefulness. Um, and it was breaking my heart. And um, I have a daughter that I haven't spoke to in nearly two years. She won't call me. And she won't come and see me. And um, she just lives a half an hour from here. And I miss her. She has a problem. And that problem's more important than what's going on with me. And one day, I hope that she gets rid of that problem. Heals that problem. Heals that problem. And she finds herself again. Because she's beautiful. Inside and out. But those types of things weigh on somebody who isn't going to, who they're telling isn't going to be here for a while, right? Um, there are so many things in the, all of the, oh, you're just so negative. You're always talking about your disease. Blah, blah, blah. So, mm. so, so, I thought, you know what? Maybe they're right. Gosh, it would be depressing. It would be depressing. That's not how you want to be. Rem- I know and that's you, not how you know, I want to be thought about or anything yeah. else. So I did some dreaming and I did some soul searching and I went inside and I made some decisions. And I've talked to Lee and I've decided to live my life to the fullest, the best I can do in the moment, in that moment. At that time, right there, however I'm feeling is what I'm going to go with. So I made that decision to stop being in that disease state and start living. I surround myself with music. I always have. I love it. It brings my soul to life. Um, There's nothing like sitting and watching live music to me. Nothing. I love it. I would rather be doing that than a lot of many, many other things. I just love it. Um, you know, I don't drink. I have no reason to be out in the bars, all, and I'm not out in bars. Um, but I am going out and watching musicians play and going to venues, outside venues, some inside venues, watching live music, getting my soul fed, spending time with people who want to spend time with me Mm. who care about me who care about what's going on with me and who want to lift me up and uh but you you i think the big thing for me is i'm connected to you and i'm with you day and night and none of you could possibly see that because she like she said her soul comes through when she's doing things like this or when she's in front of music but then the other side of that is there's so much going on behind the scenes the itching the throwing the itching, up the, throwing up, the, the constant going back and forth to the bathroom having to throw up the um, eye swimming the yellowness the dying of the hair of trying to keep the yellow from showing i mean it's it, there's so much um, that that me, Cameron, and Mo are here for. Yeah. And, you know, I've realized even though we want to heal the world, I, I can no longer put the world in front of you. Um, it, it's, it's literally, I mean, we've really had some deep talks about what it is that we both experience and then what we're experiencing in our connection. And, um, you know, you've been, you've been through it and you're a fighter and you're the strongest woman I know. You're the most vulnerable woman I'll ever love and will allow me to be loved. 
Um, that's it. You know, that's, there's no, there's, to me, that's what my purpose is here. Um, you know, our, what we set out to do was to create a channel where people could find the truth and their connection mm -hmm. and find their vulnerability to open up so they could have a connection that will be very healing. Um, I watch what you're going through. I listen to you talk to your body about healing. I hear you get pissed off at it and cuss it out too. Um, I watch you go through that fight. It's not easy. And for people that says you look good and people that say you look like you're not sick and, you know, those things. I mean, you, they see you for a split second. It's a lot to, um, to want to be well enough to go watch music or to go to a park or to go walk a trail. Well, you're down for four days after you yeah, do it. You know what I mean? It's not like you do but, it and um, then you're out the next day. So then I start posting pictures of me living and loving life and while I still have it. And then I get, yeah, well, you're not, you're not sick. You yeah. can't be sick. And you look great. And <laughs> <laughs> you were walking around with a catheter. <laughs> And we're um, happy. I mean, she, you made lighthearted. You said, um, I bet you never thought you'd be connected to a woman that could be standing up. Now I still kind of go, what the fuck just happened to me in connection? I, I mean, just your humor, Sherry. It just, um, it helps. Um, it does. It helps. I just want to, while I'm able to be able to laugh and have a good time and spend time with people. And then... It's just so heart wrenching when when you hear things and you really try not to let it bother you. And I'm the type of person exactly like he said, like I try not to let it bother me. It doesn't bother me as much as it used to. But I've had family members ask for my medical records and I've provided them. Mm. Um They won't come spend time but they'll ask for stuff. I Makes no sense. I haven't they seen it in over a year and a half, but they wanted to see my medical records. Yeah. Um, and I gave it to them. But anyway, um, you know, we have friends and acquaintances and family. And Do you think she's as sick as she says she is? Do you think she's as sick as she says she is? She looks great. She's still able to get up and put her makeup on. She's smoking crack to lose all the weight. <laughs> that what too? the I've heard that. What? Too. I've heard that I'm Ugh. doing drugs to lose the weight. Uh, I'm um, bulimic. I've heard that. Throwing wow. up. Wow. Um, You've healed a lot of people, Sherry. You know? I, I don't think you let... And I think anybody that's watching this um, and and what we're going to do for this particular video... We're going to cut it. What we're going to do is we're going to cut it in like two or three... And we're going to cut that there. <laughs> and we'll come right back. Yeah. Kids, only thing he expects in life is to get it how he loves her. Hey now, hey now, the children are awake now. Pipe down, there's more than they can say, or take down. If they don't catch a break, they'll break down. All I hear is hey now, hey now, the children.